still from the federal government. It says it has received technical bids from 17 civil society organizations to monitor the recently repatriated $311 million of battle loot received from the United States of America. The head of the Asset Recovery Unit of the Ministry of Justice, Ladidi Mohammed, says that the civil society organizations will be certified once vetted by the ministry. She added that the CSOs will be expected to provide independent assessment on the implementation of the projects expected to be funded by the recovered loot. According to her, projects expected to be funded from the recovered cash include the Lagos Ibado Expressway, the Abuja Kanu Expressway, and the second Niger Bridge. As most of you are aware, last month this money was repatriated to Nigeria from the United States of America. And part of the agreement, the tripartite agreement between the three countries, that is the Bawik of the island of Jersey, the United States of America, and Nigeria, is that there will be civil society organization involvement in the implementation of the expenditure. That means the projects that are going to be, the funds where these projects will be put in will also be monitored by civil society organizations. They will monitor how this money is expended, whether or not it is put into those projects. Uh, you know there is an agreement between the federal government and uh, the three, two other countries. And as part of that agreement, I think leaders uh, were expected to submit only their technical submission. And, uh, be evaluated and those that uh, are considered to have met the minimum requirement are invited to submit financial. 